David Davis and Michelle Barnier today shook hands and declared they have made a decisive step in sealing a Brexit transition deal. The EU chief negotiator and Mr Davis announced the dramatic breakthrough at a press conference in Brussels under the terms. The transition period will end in December 2020 while the UK has also given ground on free movement rights and fishing quota rules. However, Britain will be free to negotiate and sign trade agreements after the formal exit date next March. The package is now set to be signed off by EU leaders at a summit later this week. However, Mr Barnier stressed there are still difficult arguments about the Irish border to come. Mr Barnier said we were able this morning to agree after all those days and tonight of hard work of a large part of what will make up that international agreement for the orderly withdrawal of the United Kingdom. A decisive step remains a step. We are not at the end of the road and there is a lot of work still to be done on important subjects including Ireland and Northern Ireland. But this decisive step will be presented by me on Friday. Mr Davis said the settlement gave certainty to businesses in the UK and the EU. The deal we struck today should give us confidence that a deal good for the United Kingdom and the EU is closer than ever. Before, he said, the pound rose sharply against the US dollar and the euro as the apparent breakthrough was unveiled. Theresa May hailed the agreement saying it proved out is wrong and showed that a good trade deal was possible. Mr Barnier reiterated the importance of the backstop on the Irish border that was agreed by Mrs May before Christmas. That deal meant if no other solution could be found the UK would agree to align closely enough with EU rules to avoid a hard border. The UK has angrily dismissed a legal text prepared by Brussels setting out the backstop arrangement, saying it would effectively rip up the UK. Outlining the deal today, Mr Barnier said the UK will no longer participate in the European Union decision-making processes simply because after the 30th March 2019 it will no longer be a member state. The UK will preserve all the benefits and advantages of the single market, customs union and European policies and will, therefore, be required to respect all the European rules just like member states. EU nationals arriving in the transition period will have the same rights as those arriving before. He added, Mr Davis said the United Kingdom will be able to step out sign and ratify new trade deals with old friends and new allies for the first time in more than 40 years. These will come into force when the implementation period ends, providing new opportunities for businesses across the UK and seizing one of Brexit's greatest opportunities. Rights of EU nationals Britain has agreed that EU nationals arriving in the country during the transition period will have the same rights as Europeans living in the UK now. Free trade deals Britain will be able to negotiate and sign free trade deals around the world during the transition period. However, they will only come into force after the transition period has ended. The transition period the transition period will end on December 31, 2021 meaning Britain will have a 21-month implementation phase. The Irish border Britain and the EU promised to keep a soft Irish border. Britain says it hopes to use technology to come up with plans to have an invisible border as part of the free trade deal. If nothing is agreed then a backstop agreement will come into force meaning the UK would agree to align closely enough with EU rules to avoid a hard border. Divorce Bill Britain signed up to the Brexit Divorce Bill, which is around £40 billion. We have agreed those international agreements arising from our EU membership continue to apply as they do now. Businesses can be confident there will be no disruption to existing trade relationships when we leave the EU. Mr Davis said the UK remained committed to the divorce deal agreed before Christmas, including the provisions on the Irish border. In a victory for the British side, the scope of the transition explicitly includes Gibraltar. There have been fears that Spain could try to use its veto over Brexit to reopen the issue of the ROC sovereignty. Mr Davis said, yes it includes Gibraltar. That is our view of it. We are having negotiations, very constructive discussions with Spain. They will continue. Mr Barnier said Gibraltar would leave the EU at the same time as the UK, and said it was included in the territorial scope of the legal text. But he added that Spain had been granted a specific veto on the Gibraltar issue, and would still need to approve the terms. Mrs May said, I think the message people can take from this is that prior to December people questioned whether we would get agreement then.
We did. People questioned whether we would get agreement now. We have. I think what this shows is that with goodwill on both sides, working hard we can get an arrangement for the future which will be in the interests of the UK and in the interests of the European Union and it will be good for all parts of the UK. But he said he believed the wider trade deal could be so close that no additional measures would be needed to guarantee a soft border. Earlier, senior Tories upped the pressure on the government to hold firm in the looming discussions about a post-Brexit trade deal. Jacob Rees-Mogg warned Britain will become a joke nation if the EU prevents its striking trade deals outside the bloc. In an article for the Daily Telegraph, Mr. Rees-Mogg, who chairs the Brexit-supporting Conservative European Research Group, wrote, Britain has to decide if it is a serious country or a joke nation. It would be humiliating for others to have cause to think thus of us. The United Kingdom will not accept being a subservient state. In the case of tariffs, once we have left the EU, it is non-negotiable that our trade minister should be able to respond to any threat of increased tariffs from other nations as suits our national interest, not the EU's. We must be able to negotiate and sign trade deals. Yet this does not depend just on our legal ability to do so. It depends on how other countries view us. Mr. Barnier met Irish Deputy PM Simon Coveney in Brussels this morning before his talks with Mr. Davis. Freaks that.